Hello there, it's Professor Stieg. Continuing with our Audrey 2 Maya Plant Monster project. This video will highlight how to lay out UVs so they look something like this. Very straightforward, beautiful to understand, and make complete sense versus where they start in chaos. Let's go check that out. If we just isolate this, control one. The three options we'll use for mapping most of the head will be cylindrical, planar, and, and spherical. Those you'll find in this UV menu. Here they are, cylindrical, planar, and spherical. This is more like a plane than anything, so we'll start with that one. We'll go best plane, reset, best plane as our first projection method. We'll call this planter or pod monster. How about that? That's the only time you're going to name the UV set. The rest goes into that very set. So here in the UV editor, you'll see a projection map, which isn't quite what I expected. Let's just make this a solution that works here. Planar. Best plane. Assume it's bounding box. If you went Z and then best plane, I'm really surprised it's doing that. Let's try it. Let's just try it and see. Bounding box Z, because that's the axis it's facing. Okay. Now we're going to keep this off to the Z, and we're going to turn this off so that we can just keep clicking on apply and go from there. Okay. Next, next leaf. Select most of them that you can. Deselect, control click, control click, and then tab helps you glide over the rest. Select them easily. Now, if we go apply, boom, does pretty well. Now it seems like we need to make this texture manipulator turn and be a little more congruent with the with the leaves. So let's modify it a bit by going in, clicking at the base of this this tool, and toggling from default mode to the rotate and move mode. You want to go to rotate, click on the blue ring, and do that. You can see it updating here. So that looks like a good solution. Face mode, tab. Well, click off to the side so we're not remapping the one to our left. I believe that's all of them. Okay, let's go back to our planar mapping options. Apply. Hit the little T. I can select it easily. The blue circle ring and turn it until it starts to make sense in the UV editor and look like a good 2D representation of the entire I'll do a little scale in here and all but that looks pretty good. You could <laughs> you can scale here as well. Scale it either way. It seems like a good solution. Face mode. Continue. Click off to the side. Our key drag all of these. also hit G to execute that planar projection. That one looks very good. We'll just throw that off to the side and say, yeah, that looks good. Let's do these faces. And hit G again. Now that's pretty efficient after you get going. It could be a little more improved. It could be turned a bit. 
Let's click on that T down there. Click on the ring so we can rotate it. And here it is showing up pretty well in this editor. So it's about the size of the other one. That's, that's good. Alright, there's the leaves. And that will be the conclusion of this video. I will see you where we do the rest of the pod head in the next. Take care.